Okay, this is a response to the uh, Schmoes, or a single Schmo, uh, no, uh, review of Super 8. I got back about two hours ago, and I can't help but uh, continue to think about uh, the film. It was great. Uh, it, it it had that, that Spielbergian feel to it. Um, you know, I mean, that, that E.T. Uh, feel, but like E.T. For, for a new generation. I mean, this is not, not to give too much away, but uh, this is not uh, the cute E.T. you're going to put in your closet. You know, trust me. Uh, when they make movies with kids, uh, even like a, a PG-13 uh, film like this is because of some of the language and, and, and some of the, the, the violence, uh, you really need a good cast. Uh, as you're saying, uh, Joel Courtney as, as the lead kid is really good, and I hope he's not one of these uh, kids who does like, you know, one or two movies and then just disappears until uh, 15 years ago, uh, 15 years from now, he's, uh, you know, slamming them back, and uh, you see him on Celebrity Rehab. Um, Elf Fanning is absolutely remarkable in just about every scene. I mean, um, and uh, anyway, uh, as, I was, I, as I was saying, as I was rambling, uh, when you see stuff like E.T., uh, The Goonies, uh, The Lost Boys, uh, Stand By Me, one of my all-time favorites, uh, if the kids, if you don't connect to the kids, then you're not going to, the, the, the movie is, is a waste of time. Uh, you have to feel these kids are real. Um, and when you go back, I mean, Stand By Me is my childhood. Uh, this is the childhood of, you know, guys the Schmoes age. I mean, 79. Uh, geez, I mean, I had already been married. I was in the service going to college. Um, so I was way too old. But uh, remember, drugs are bad. A classic line from what is going to be a, a well-remembered movie and uh, two thumbs up uh, I, I give this if I was a schmo I would give this a, a, a four a four out of five schmo uh, for me and uh, oh sit through the credits don't be one of those people who as soon as the film ends uh, you get up and walk out, you're going to miss something special. And uh, it, it's something that from the very beginning you want to see and you get to see it. Also, um, if you saw the trailers, Apollo 18, the first time I've heard about it, it really looks like it's going to be an interesting film, not to give too much away, but uh, check it out. You can probably find the trailer. Um, Blair Witch on the Moon? Anyway, uh, uh, thanks for the review. It's great. I love it. Uh, go see the movie. It's going to be one of the biggest of the summer. My prediction and one of those films you're going to go back and want to watch again. It's a lot of fun. Anyways, peace out.